Hello and welcome to RadioTimes.com's video reaction to the first episode of Wolf, the brand new thriller on BBC One and BBC iPlayer, which is based on the Jack Caffrey novels by Mo Hader. Uh, I'm James Hibbs, drum writer at RadioTimes.com, and this video is going to specifically go into full detail on the first episode of Wolf. Now, all six episodes are available on BBC iPlayer now. Uh, so if you want to make sure you're caught up ahead of this video, it's just the first one that we're going to be getting full spoilers on. Um, so right from the off, I think this episode hooks you. You know, that first sequence of the man in the, uh, the hazmat suit and the gas mask sort of dancing and then you've sort of got the blood splattering on the, uh, on the goggles. You know, it's a, uh, a really visually stirring uh, sequence and I think it sets what is a pretty unusual and anarchic tone for the rest of the piece, not just the rest of this this episode, but the rest of the series. And that's what, you know, it, cards on the table here, I really love this series and I love it because of that. I think uh, the tone is so specific, so unique. It, it, it isn't afraid to go dark in the way that some sort of, uh, some series are, but at the same time, it knows that it can still have fun with it. It can still be this sort of, uh, fun, uh, quirky show which you know has a lot of dark humour there, also has some really silly humour and some really sort of light moments. But you know, when it wants to get serious, which it frequently does, you know, particularly towards the end of this episode, you know, that uh, really, really tense sequence with uh, Sasha Dewan and Ewan Rian and uh, Juliet Stevenson, you know, that the tension that's built up in the, in those scenes is just absolutely palpable. And then by the time you get to the end and you get them sort of laughing, you know, okay, this is going to be a, a, a different type of show. This is going to be something which is, is unique and also just a whole lot of fun with while still having some teeth to it. Um, I think in terms of the cast, uh, Welly Roach really, really stands out. I mean, Sasha Dewan and Hugh and Rian do incredible work, um, but I suppose they've got sort of the funner roles, they get more to play with. Uh, I think what Welly Roach does really, really impressively is he manages to carry the A storyline, which strangely is perhaps slightly less gripping than the B storyline. I think the B storyline with uh, Dewan and Rian, that, uh, that sort of carries itself because it's just such a sort of uh, a tense uh, boiling pot with, uh, with the family, you know, you don't know where it's going to go next, you don't know what these people are capable of, um, whereas uh, the stuff with Welly Roach is sort of more slow burn, you know, uh, we're finding out details about his past, uh, he's playing a character which, you know, in any other show you might say is a little bit sort of generic, we've seen this before, you know, he is a troubled detective with, you know, something in his past which he can't get over, we have seen that, but I think partly because he's just so charismatic, I think partly because he's, you know, a younger detective, um, I think all of these things add to, uh, you know, a really uh, charismatic character, a character that we are interested in, we want to root for, even though we perhaps shouldn't at times, you know, he's already displayed some interest in forms of justice, which uh, which we shouldn't necessarily be, uh, be rooting for. But I think he's just, he's so brilliant in that role. Uh, and then the rest of the cast as well, I think, you know, Stevenson and uh, Owen Teal and uh, uh, obviously Dewan and, and, and Rian, as said, they're all just fantastic um, and uh, and yeah I think for those people who are unsure after this first episode you know maybe you're thinking about coming back to episode two but you're not you're not completely hooked yet definitely come back because I think this is sort of a, a slow burn entry point there's a lot of stage setting here there's a lot of putting the plot in place and all of this episode two ramps things up more and in terms of the twists and turns you can expect you know there's a, there's a lot of them I think you know based on if you if you've seen the trailers for this you probably knew where things were going with uh, Dewan and, and Rian's characters that isn't so much the case for the rest of the series you can't be certain where this is going because it did uh, bring up some surprises so uh, so look out for the rest of the episodes they're airing on Mondays and Tuesdays on BBC One and as I say they're all available on BBC iPlayer now and look out for more uh, Wolf content on RadioTimes.com uh, so we've got a full review up there we've got plenty of other sort of explainers uh, we've got interviews all of that you can check out on the website right now and make sure to look out for more videos in the future Thank you.